In order to make proper citations, you need to make an in-text citation. And you must also include a complete list of sources at the end of your paper. This is called a reference list. As you can see, the in-text citation gives the reader a trail to find the original source in the reference list. Different subject disciplines use different citation styles. For example, social sciences often uses APA style, chemistry may use ACS style, and humanities often uses MLA style. IEEE stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. This style is widely used in the field of engineering. To make an in-text citation, use a number in brackets whenever you refer to someone else's ideas. Here is an example of in-text citation. The end of paper references should list the complete information for your in-text citations. Arrange the sources in the reference list numerically in the order in which they appear in your paper. Here is an example of a reference list. Now let's take a closer look at references for journal or magazine articles. The basic elements of a journal article include author name, article title, abbreviated journal title, volume, issue, page numbers, date of publication, and digital object identifier. To format a journal reference in IEEE style, list the author's given name initials followed by their family name. Then put the article title in double quotes, followed by the abbreviated journal title and italicize it. Add the volume and issue numbers with a comma, and then page numbers, followed by the date of publication. Lastly, include the digital object identifier. Elements of a book chapter reference are a bit different. The basic elements of a book chapter include author name, book chapter title and book title, publisher information, year of publication, chapter number and page number. To format a book chapter reference in IEEE style, list the author's given name initials followed by their family name. Then put the book chapter title in double quotes, followed by the word in, and then the book title in italics. Next, the city of publication. Include the state if the book is published in the USA. And then the country of publication, followed by name of publisher. Then, the year of publication. Lastly, chapter numbers, followed by page numbers. Patents are quite easy to cite. The basic elements of a reference for a patent include author name, title of patent, country name, patent number, and issue date. Now, let's look at the summary to identify the similarities and differences. If you need further assistance, please contact the HKUST library.